What's the story guys? Dara Bourne back again, clean athlete 99, the Sable Body of the Year. <laughs> now, today I'm here to talk about the sense of word, depression. Yeah, depression. Mental health problem guys. One of which I suffer with for years. I'm 26 now, but from the age of 14 to 20, I massively suffer with depression and anxiety. And I want to share my story today of how I got over it. You know, it all started when I was about 14 years of age, you know, you start to become a teenager, start to see more friends, start to see girls as well, and hormones start, you're becoming a teenager. And I suffered with that worse because I had this disability, and, and I started to suffer with depression. You know, there was times where I was excluding myself from groups, I literally couldn't talk to people, I couldn't socialise, I was afraid to say anything in case anyone would say anything about this disability, even though everyone was always positive about it, I was never excluded or discriminated out of groups. But it all started with this thing in my head, you know, this constant sadness about not being able to get over my disability, you know, this bend in my arm, this limp. It got so bad, guys, where I'd be walking down the street and for 50 yards away I'd see my friends and I'd literally fucking dart into the shop because I was so afraid to see them. You know, I couldn't deal with this. There was times where I was walking past groups of people, you know, there could be a group of lads sitting on the wall and I would literally avoid them and go on a different street because I was so afraid to walk past them in case they'd notice my disability, you know, I'd be so afraid. Um, and when, when it did come up in discussion when people were asking me about disability, you know, I, I would answer it real unconfidently. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I'd lie and say, oh, I got a football injury, that's why I'm limping. And I'd literally go home and think about it for a couple of hours. I wouldn't get bad to get out of bed. I was so sad. And I'd cry and I'd literally ask myself, like, why do I have this disability? I was literally going to my mum and dad as well. Why did God give me this disability? My mum and dad was, was always positive about it and would always say, you were given it for a reason, Dara, because you can do something special with it. And I couldn't see this at the time. I can now. But at the time, I was so angry and frustrated with everyone. Everyone in my group of friends had no disability. Why did God give me this? You know, it got so bad when I was 14 years of age that when I was in school, you know, when I was walking past the group of lads in the canteen, you know, I was literally hiding everything to do with my disability. Even though everyone in school was so positive about it, everyone knew the disability, I was so afraid to discuss it. You know, and this got worse as I got into my 15, 16, 17 years of age. Where it got to a stage where I said to myself, you know, I have to do something about this. So I started working out. You know, I started to get passionate about fit fitness. I went to the gym and I said to myself, I'm going to create this body that makes me so confident about myself. You know, so healthy. I'm not saying that I was going to literally, you know, get rid of all these thoughts I had about my disability and make me a more confident person. But as I started to work out and get in better shape, when I kind of got into 17, 18 years of age and I got out of school, people that I was in school started noticing and going, oh my God, man, you're such an inspiration, you're such an inspiration, you know? And I was literally, even though I was working out and feeling a lot better, I still couldn't see it back then, still couldn't see it. I was still like, uh, all these negative thoughts in my head, you know, I'd say thank you at the time to the person, I'd go home and I'd literally, you know, get into bed, fucking like, frustrated and angry, frustrated and angry. You know, even when I was playing football, when I was 16, 17 years of age, and um, I know I'm going back, recycling it again, it's going back to it again, but when I was 16, 17 years of age, guys, what made it very difficult was managers wouldn't play me on the football team. You know, they've seen the disability and not the, not the ability. But I was so determined to prove people wrong all the time. I just kept training, I kept training, I kept training, I kept training. I was hoping one day would be my day, even though I was suffering with depression. I found exercise you know football like I said the gym as my way out of dealing with this depression and um, and even though I wasn't getting played with football teams I still had this vision that I was becoming become a footballer so when I was 20 years of age I joined the Irish Paralympic football team fucking scared shitless at the time being around people of my own disability all these guys amazing guys with cerebral palsy at first when I was asked I was like oh a bit apprehensive about it. I was like I don't know if I want to deal with people with cerebral palsy, do we? I went down guys my first training session I was fucking blown away. Couldn't believe how good these guys were. Here all these... All so here I was guys, 
been around people with my own disability, playing football for Ireland, represent my country. You know, my depression started lowering because the reason I started lowering because I was around these guys with my own disability and was ready to fucking like experience the same stories. I was able to hear their story where it bounced off each other. It was fucking amazing. I played football with them for four years, went to European Championships, went to World Championships, Intercontinental Cups, went to Barcelona, Portugal, everywhere in Europe. Unbelievable. But guys, what really made me lower my depression was changing my diet. Was, you know, being, learning it was okay to talk to people about this disability. And when I started becoming more confident to talk to people about this disability, I started having a laugh with people. People would ask me this disability, go, yeah, yeah, I'm the same with Bass Man. <laughs> Here's Mr. Gimpy. That's what I'd say. <laughs> I'd have a laugh about it, which I wasn't able to do when I was in my teens. You know, what really changed my life a couple of years ago was having my beautiful daughter. My God. Becoming a father has changed my life. Everything I do is for my baby girl. Everything I do. She's the most amazing girl ever. I took a two year break out of the Irish Paralympic football team and now I'm going back this year, guys. This year, I'm going back. But what's really made me eliminate my depression and skyrocketing high my confidence is doing these type of videos. In front of you guys, you know, Inspiring people, here's a guy with a disability, gonna rock the world and he's gonna take over. There's no fucking excuse guys, because it doesn't matter what you're born with like me, what matters is what you do about it. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm here to prove. I'm gonna become a millionaire for my daughter. I broke through depression, I broke through adversity, like I said, I had a beautiful baby daughter and now I'm gonna go back and represent my country. How many people with disabilities can say they could do that? Not a lot, you know, at times I just wasn't maybe grateful for having a disability. Now at the age of 26 I can see, see it as my asset. Cerebral palsy don't have anything of me guys, it's an asset. What's your excuse? What's your excuse? Nothing. Able body people out there, let's get going. People out there in, in wheelchairs, let's get going. Anybody with any sort of adversity, let's get going. There is no excuse guys, there is no excuse. Doesn't matter what you're born with, like I said. I'm all about learning what to do with it now. I truly believe I was born with a disability for a reason. To show everyone what I can fucking do with it. You know, God has given me this. He's told me, Dari, show us what you can do with it. Doesn't matter that you suffer with depression, doesn't matter that you suffer with anxiety. Doesn't matter that you're bullied. Doesn't matter that you're you weren't playing football. You weren't first choice with managers. It all comes together, guys. Fuck the people that didn't play me years ago in them football teams. Fuck them managers, because I play for Ireland, guys. There you go. <laughs> amazing, amazing experience, you know. And now I'm going back.